What's up guys, my name is Mark, and today we're gonna to be talking about the best large inflatable hot tub. We're gonna cover our top three picks and tell you why we think these are some pretty awesome hot tubs. Before we get too far into this video, I do wanna let you know that we have reviewed and we've looked at each one of these inflatable hot tubs and we did purchase them. So we didn't receive any of these for free. With that said, down in the description below, we're gonna include some links. These are affiliate links, so if you do use them to make a purchase, we will earn a commission. Uh, with all that said, we keep this as honest as possible we want you to pick the best inflatable hot tub for you and we want you to come back to our channel to enjoy some more inflatable hot tub related content so with all that said let's get into our top three picks let's go now our first pick on this list is the Spa Granada what we like about the Spa Granada is that it is really big while it may not technically be the biggest in size, it definitely feels the biggest. And I, I would argue to say you can fit the most amount of people in this inflatable hot tub. So it is a very affordable option um, for those looking for an inflatable hot tub. These things can range anywhere between like $600 to $800. With that said, inflatable hot tubs, the prices vary throughout the year in different times and seasons. In the spring, they can get more expensive, whereas in the summer, they can get a little bit cheaper. Um, so keep that in mind uh, when you're shopping for these things. With that said, down in the description below, we do update our links every once in a while to the most relevant links um, and for the best price at the time, um, depending on the sellers and retailers. So um, keep that in mind. The next thing we really, really like about this inflatable hot tub is it has a really sturdy build. We, we keep coming back to how durable these things are. You can sit on them, you can uh, kind of straddle them. Uh, they're, they're not really going to budge. Solly Spot does a really good job at this. We really like that feature. Overall, inflatable hot tubs in general, what we really like about them is they get you about 90% of the way to what is a traditional hot tub. They're nice, they're relaxing, they're a fraction of the cost, and it's something you can use year round. You can have company over, you're gonna have parties, you can put it in your backyard, you can put it in your garage. Uh, you're gonna just really be able to enjoy these things. Moving on to cons for this inflatable hot tub is that it doesn't have any of those luxury features that some of the other inflatable hot tubs on this list are going to have. Uh, but with that said, what is really nice about this one is it has all that real estate. Um, so that in of itself is a luxury feature in my opinion, just because you have so much room to stretch out. And when you're looking for a big inflatable hot tub, this really covers that. So if all this sounds interesting to you, this may be the one worth checking out. Uh, but don't forget, we're covering two more. Up next is the Intex Pure Spa Plus. Uh, what I really like about the Intex Pure Spa Plus is it does have some of those luxury features that the Thali Spa Granada was missing. It has headrest. It has a light that comes with it. Intex includes a lot of little nifty gifties uh, with their inflatable hot tubs. They, they include sanitizers. They include extra filters. They include test strips with many of their, their retailers and models. So that is something to consider, especially about this inflatable hot tub. If you're not wanting to shop for all those different things, um, Intex includes a lot of that, which is really, really nice. Additionally, this one is really big. I really enjoyed our time with it. It's 94 inches by 94 inches. But with that said, Intex has a couple different models of their Pure Spa Plus. They have a circular model um, for their six person, the square model, and I've even seen like a hexagon version. All these models are gonna vary in some ways, but are gonna be pretty much the same. The one thing I like about the square model in particular is that it comes with a salt water sanitation system. So what this does, it converts salt into chlorine. And ultimately this just helps you save money on maintenance. So if that's something that sounds interesting to you, maybe worth checking out. One con that I would add about the Intex Pure Spa Plus is that it doesn't blow up quite as much as say the Solly Spa models would. Now Intex does this on purpose. They say it so you don't puncture the hot tub. They want it to have a little bit more give, but I have noticed that you can't always sit or you can't always straddle on the Intex models. And ultimately this is them trying to keep it more safe um, so it doesn't pop. But for me, you know, I like getting out of the inflatable hot tub, I like sitting on the edge and putting my feet in. So that's something I like, but for overall safety of the inflatable hot tub and, you know, covering the cost of not having to replace it, they have made a smart move on making it so it doesn't inflate quite as much. It doesn't overinflate. So good engineering, sometimes it can be a pain in the butt, but um, so take that with a grain of salt. And with that said, we don't keep all these inflatable hot tubs. We, we, we just don't have room for them. Um, so we test them out, sell them, um, try them, and we, we like to give you guys our honest opinion. So getting back into the shapes and as well as because of the flexibility and in inflatable hot tub prices in general, this one does run anywhere between $800 and $1,100, um, depending on when you buy it. Uh, we do try to update our links, as I said before, 
in the description below. So we'll try to get you the best price. So go ahead and check those out, see what it is. But sometimes they're just more expensive. Sometimes they're just uh, a little bit cheaper. So um, keep that in mind as you're shopping for inflatable hot tubs in general. So if this sounds interesting to you, the Intex Pure Spot Plus is a really good model. We chose it as the best inflatable hot tub last year in 2023, uh, because we just think it's a, it's a fantastic hot tub. Um, I think most people are gonna really, really enjoy it. Really with these inflatable hot tubs in general, it's hard to go wrong and it's pretty easy to go right. It just depends on what features you're looking for in inflatable hot tubs. So, and that's kind of what we're trying to cover here. Um, so speaking of an inflatable hot tub with features, that leads us in to the Sali Spa San Francisco. This one has a lot of really cool features. It's gonna get you 95% of the way there to what a traditional hot tub is. This one comes with ergonomic seats. It comes with hydro jets. It comes with a really big size. It's a big square inflatable hot tub. And it, there's just a lot of really good room to stretch out. And like the Granada, Sally Spa builds really solid inflatable hot tubs. The thing, you can sit on it, you can straddle it, it doesn't buckle. Um, and that's something I really like about this inflatable hot tub. Something similar about the Sali Spa San Francisco and the Intex Pure Spa Plus, both of these inflatable hot tubs have app compatibility. I like it more so in the Sali Spa San Francisco, um, just because I think the app is a little bit cleaner, in my opinion. Um, overall, this is just a good inflatable hot tub. It's gonna feel a lot like a traditional hot tub for most of you users out there. And if you're shopping for a hot tub, um, a traditional hot tub, and you've come across this, this might be a good option, especially if you're on a budget. Now, with that said, let's move into the cons, because um, there are some, some pretty big cons with this inflatable hot tub, and it comes to the heating. So one, it takes a long time to heat up. It takes about 72 hours for it to get to a point where you'll want to use it. Um, so keep that in mind. Once it's there, it does a really good job at staying there, but there are some features that can make that temperature drop down low. So let's talk about those. So the jets, both the hydro jets and the bubble jets, this has both of them. So the way those work is they pull air from the outside. And this is with all inflatable hot tubs, they pull air from the outside. But the hydro jets in particular, they pull more air and that can cool down the water. Now, with that said, you can still get a good use out of these hydro jets with the inflatable hot tub. You can get 15 to 20 minutes, leaving them on before the water gets too cold. With them not on, the inflatable hot tub loses air much slower. You can get anywhere between 30 minutes to like an hour and 15 minutes. So if you wanna turn on the hydro jets for 10, 15 minutes, do that. If you want to turn on the bubble jets for 15, 20 minutes, do that. Uh, and then just be prepared to sit and not have those on the whole time because it does uh, reduce the temperature of the water. But overall, during most times of the year, this is going to be really good. You're going to stay between like 102 and 104 degrees for quite a long time. Last con regarding that hydro jet is for whatever reason, when you hit the hydro jet button, um, it turns those on, but it turns the heating mechanism off. So when you turn the, the hydro jets off, make sure you turn the heating mechanism back on. That way your inflatable hot tub heats back to 104 or wherever you have your temperature set. So quick overview of this inflatable hot tub. Overall, I really, really like it. It is one that we have decided to keep um, despite those cons, just because it has a lot of those luxury features that we really like in an inflatable hot tub. Now, not everybody's gonna like that. Um, you can see that it does have some bad reviews. Ultimately, it's one we do really like. Um, and it's one that a lot of other people have really liked. So just check it out for yourself. Um, I think it's a, a really good one. It can be rather expensive, anywhere between like $1,100 to like $2,500, depending on the retailer. But we're gonna try to help you save some money by keeping that link up to date. But just be prepared, this one is a little bit more expensive um, because of those extra features that it has. Uh, with that said, compared to a traditional hot tub of like $5,000, $7,000, much cheaper. Inflatable hot tubs in general, much cheaper. This one, uh, while it is a little more expensive, I think it is worth the price. And if you think it might be for you too, go ahead and, and check it out. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm pretty good at rambling. I try to keep these reviews as honest and authentic as possible. So thank you for hanging in there with me. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. We really appreciate it. Also, check the links down in the description below if you found one of these inflatable hot tubs interesting. Um, also, check out our channel. We have a lot of inflatable hot tub related content. Hopefully this will help you on your inflatable hot tub shopping journey. Um, we really try to educate and just put all of the info we've gathered out there. And we're still learning, but hopefully we can help you learn a little bit faster than we did. Guys, thanks so much for watching and have a great day.